Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in from the Urban Micro Farm. Uh, well, it is day number 46, day 46, and I gotta tell you, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that elk hunting video yesterday as much as Mason and I enjoyed making that thing. Um, that is some of the most beautiful country in the world, in my opinion, and uh, I'll tell you what, there's just no greater place on earth. So. Um, like I said, if you want to see more of those, I'll put the link in the description. I'll start adding that to the description so you can slip over to my other page and, and watch that. Now, it's going to be a day or two while, uh, while I get healed up before I can uh, go make another one of those. But um, that's just the kind of stuff that, that you're going to see on that other channel. So um, I'm going to get, let's check on these birds. Let's see here. Hey, birds. Yeah, three, 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 four, five. I count six little beaks there. So I count that as a win. Um, so before we leave the before we leave the urban micro farm today, I have to mix a new bag of feed. Actually, two new bags of feed. We're mixing protein and scratch, so we have to mix two new bags of feed, and then we have to uh, fill the water jug because I came right home. We gathered up our, our hunting gear and, and left uh, left for hunting. Um, I didn't fill the water jug either, so I got to come fill the water jug. So I'll be right back, and we'll uh, we'll catch up after that. Tell you, it's a good thing I had to fill up the uh, the water jug because I almost forgot the fodder too. Okay, so for some reason, just a real quick update: our fodder is not as lush and green as it has been in the past. I think that might have something to do with bringing it outside. You know, the nights are getting cooler, uh, but it's still, I mean, it's still a healthy clump of fodder. It's just, it's just not as lush and as thick as, as we were, were getting before. So we're going to keep feeding it. It's all we can do. All right. So yet another morning out here on the pasture. Hey birds. Everybody's looking good in there. That's where two days ago we had that slow moving bird, but it seems to be doing okay now. I don't see, I don't see where it might be. So moving on over here. Hey birds. Everybody looks good in there. Mandy's everybody up and moving here? Yeah. Well, it was in the back. I'm not sure what he's doing. But nobody's hunkered down or? No. Okay. So everybody is doing well. So I'm at, I'm at a bit of a quandary here because what we've got going is right there where Mandy is, it's, it falls off really quick and uh, it's not really even ground just right there there's a little little bog there uh, so I'm gonna have start having trouble navigating that that tractor that she's in front of uh, I'm gonna start having trouble navigating that thing around and then right here it gets really narrow and then all the way up so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe tomorrow I think we're going to uh, take that farthest left tractor, move it over a little bit, because we've got really flat ground here all the way till the end, the end of the road there. So what I'm thinking about doing is moving that one to your left, moving the middle one across the road. So we have two on the west side of the road and then just one on the east side of the road. So that should help us out, but that's gonna take some doing. So uh, probably what we're gonna do right quick is let out a group of these birds so that we can move the tractor. So, Mandy, do you want to let those guys out? Yeah. I think that's the same ones I let out yesterday, but it's okay. So we'll let them out here and get some grasshoppers in them. Uh, one thing I am noticing though, is that they're getting a little harder to catch every time we let them out. They, they know that it's, it's better to be out eating grasshoppers than it is to uh, 
to be in that tractor. So, but I really enjoy watching them hunt for those grasshoppers. So. All right, so I'm pretty sure there's a why did the chicken cross the road joke to be made here, but I'm not gonna make it because we're not that type of lowbrow chicken show. All right, so we decided to go ahead and let all the birds out today. We have some time, so we thought we'd go ahead and do that. So Mandy, in that farthest east tractor, as we let them out, there was one that's limping, and you know how Mandy likes to nursemaid these birds, so she thinks that we need to take that little bird right there back to the urban micro farm and then uh, bring back another one in its place. So <laughs> This one's getting my jewels on my pocket. <laughs> this one's... <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> he moved. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't know what we'll do there. We'll have to have a little discussion. By discussion, I mean we're going to fight about it. <laughs> so we'll get it figured out. So we got all the tractors moved. We'll get all these birds put away. And uh, we'll follow up here shortly. Well, I think it's pretty, de pretty easy to see who won that debate. Um, we are taking another wounded chicken home. We're gonna swap it out with a more healthy bird. Um, I think most of you knew that I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> that pairing was a lot like Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. Oh, no. You know, everybody, everybody roots for the underdog. Deep down, everybody wanted to see Conor McGregor win, but at the end of the day, he was just no match for the talents and skill of his opponent, much like myself. Um, you know, Mandy may be really good at arguments, but I'm a master debater. <laughs> Wyoming James, checking out from the Urban Micro Farm. Adios. <laughs>